Who is the best BFDI contestant? I'm not talking about who's the most liked. I mean in terms of actually being good at the game. You may think it's Fiery or Flower because they've each won a season, but Flower was eliminated first in BFDI, and Fiery got out pretty early in BFDIA. I need to know who the best character is in terms of their placements. Luckily, I can find this with some good old math. Why should I do math? I don't like math. I hate math. What's in it for me? What do I get from math? Let's pull out the good old spreadsheet. I will include everyone who competed in BFB plus winner and price tag. And no, I am not counting Profiley as a contestant. Don't care. I will include the four competition seasons and will be counting BFB pre-split and post-split as one season. Now time for some numbers. I will multiply their placement by the total number of contestants that competed in that season. For example, BFDIA Donut got out first, so that's 1 times 22 because 22 people competed that season. Dora gets 2 times 22, and so on. As for rejoiners, I will multiply their placement by the amount of contestants left when they joined. So BFDI Flower joined at the final 6, times 3 because she was the third one eliminated from the final 6. Then I would add this to their original score for that season. So in total, Flower would get 3 times 6 plus 1 times 21, equaling 39 points for BFDI. This system works well for BFDI, BFDIA, and BFB pre-split. Now I've got to talk about the split. Here's how it's going to work. All teapotters will have a score of 12 times 64 to tie them for 54th place in BFB. All post splitters will have their total multiplier change from 64 to 24 because 40 contestants quit and didn't actually continue. As for teapot, we have double eliminations. I don't think it would be fair to give one contestant more points than the other for failing the same challenge. This would also make more different placement values because of how many contestants actually competed in this season. So here's my solution. I reduced the total number of contestants from 45 to 24. Every double elimination will count as one person, and so does solo eliminations, and to prevent ties, I'll add a 0.5 to the contestant that did better. So Pi gets 1 times 24, Foldy gets 2 times 24, Saw gets 3 times 24, but Cloudy gets 3.5 times 24, and so on and so on. Hopefully, this will all make sense. Alright, now we do these equations for every single contestant in every season they compete in, and BAM! Got some numbers. Wait, there's still more? Uh... Now that we have these numbers, we gotta scale them up, so similar placements have similar values. So multiply everyone's points per season by 66 over how many people competed in that season. Now that I have everyone's correct amount of points in every season, I can just find the average of every contestant and we're done! Thank you, Spreadsheet. Side note, contestants that have only competed in one season kind of have an unfair advantage. Also, at the time of recording this video, we are on BFDI A20 and Teapot 18. So these seasons haven't finished yet and these rankings could change. But with all of that out of the way, let's see the rankings. Behold, the worst BFDI competitor in history. Drum roll, please. Bracelet E scoring 132 points. Getting 63rd in BFB, not a good placement, as Leafy and Pencil are veterans, so they can score higher, leaving her dead last in this ranking. Next is Lai with 188 points, scoring a little better than Bracelady, and just joined Teapot, but has only been here for 3 episodes, so hasn't been able to regain some ground. Next is David with 256 points, did join BFDI but only lasted in 2 episodes, and got out pretty early in BFB. You'll see a trend here with the Exeters, because next is Rogue Body with 264 points scoring 61st in BFB. Now I don't have a favorite number, but if I did have a favorite number, it would not be 330 because that's how many points A-Paul got. And that makes me sad. Leaving him at 62nd place. Next is Stapy, placing 59th in his only season BFB. Now he is tied with our next contestant, but I had to put him lower because next is Dora with the same score, placing 60th overall. But I'm gonna give it to Dora because she competed in one more season. Placed badly in BFDIA, 
which is what brought her down a few placements. Next is our first teapotter, Pi being the first boot of teapot with 429 points. Match with 440 points, placing pretty bad overall. Next is Loser with 454 points. Did get out pretty early in BFB, but did rejoin for post split, which is what got him a few more points, placing him above Stapy and Match. Next is Foldy with 462 points. You're gonna see a trend here with our next early teapot boots, being Saw with 495 points, and Cloudy with 512 points, and Naily with 528 points. Next is Pencil, our first contestant to compete in all four seasons, leaving her with 532 points. Did pretty mid overall, but getting out first in BFB really hurts her score, which is what drops her down to 52nd place. It's still competing in Teapot though, which could raise her score. Next is Remote with 545 points, and the top 50 is Puffball, fittingly 550 points, doing pretty bad in most of her seasons, but Teapot helped her a little bit. Next is Eggy with 561 points for placing 39th in Teapot. We have our next tie being with Fiery Jr. placing 594 points, making him our best exiter because of Dora's low placement in BFTIA and actually surviving through 12 episodes. He ties with Clock for 47th place, but I'm going to give Clock a little bit of a boost for surviving BFB and making it to Teapot. Next is Teardrop, surprisingly, with 605 points. Well, yes, making third in BFB is really good. You cannot deny the fact that she scored really low in every other season she competed in, leaving her at 46th place. Next is Lightning, 610 points. Cake with 627 points. Spongy with 629 points. While well, yes, these placements look good, he is still a rejoiner. Got out pretty early in most of these seasons. So rejoining does not help him that much. Next is Donut, scoring 638 points. First boot of BFDIA, but is still in the power of two, which got him up this far. Next is Woody, with 660 points. First boot of BFDI, and but scored 6th place in BFB. Rocky with 685 points, did compete in every season, did good in BFDI, but pretty mid all around the board, a little low in BFDIA and a little low in TPOD, leaving him with 40. Our next tie with 4 726 points, I'm going to place Balloony lower though for getting 14 in BFB. Tying with him is Eraser for getting a little bit better in Teapot and actually being in BFDI. Following our series of ties is Bell with 743 points for being in Teapot. Tying with her is Golf Ball, 743 points. Did compete in all of her seasons, pretty low in BFDI, pretty mid in BFDIA, but is still in the power of two leaving her right here. Next on our series of ties, a three-way tie for 759 points. Barf Bag for competing in the power of two. Tying with Barf Bag is Fries. Did pretty good in BFDIA and did pretty bad in the power of two. And our third tire is Pin. We're scoring 33rd place. Pretty bad in BFDIA. Pretty great in BFDIA and pretty solid amid performance in The Power of Two, scoring 33rd place right in the middle of the entire ranking. Next is Needle with 767 place. Pretty low in BFDI, but was doing really well in BFDIA and did pretty mid in Teapot, so that leaves her at 32nd place. Another tie for 770 points, but for our lower half, I'm going to give it to Yellowface, leaving him at 31st. Tied with him is Snowball, 
getting 30th. Pretty bad in BFDI, but is doing great in the power of 2, leaving him here. Next is Bami with 792 points. Pretty good in BFDIA, pretty mid in T5, mid overall, so the middle of the ranking makes sense. Next is Koini, scoring exactly 800 points. Is doing great in BFDIA, did pretty bad in BFDI and pretty bad in T5, but his great placement in BFDIA is doing great. And if he doesn't get first as predicted, he does go low like two spots, but surely based off of BFDIA 19's elimination, he did get first safe. So it's safe to say I'm predicting Quain to be first, leaving him 28th place. Next is Gady with 808 points for being in the power of two. Mid placement, mid ranking. Our next tie for 825 points is Basketball. Tying with her is Nickel for 25th place. Nickel did pretty good in BFDIA, pretty mid in the power of two, but that BFDIA placement is what raises him up to tie with Basketball. We won't have any more ties for a while, so next is Penn with 836 points. Pretty mid in BFDI, but is still competing in the power of two raising him all the way here. Robot Flower with 842 points for the power of 2. Blocky with 849 points. Pretty good in BFB, pretty mid in BFBI, but getting 22nd overall, not bad. Next is Flower right out of the top 20, scoring 853. Well yes, she did win BFB, which is a massive boost. She was also first eliminated in BFDI, rejoining at the final six, leaving her here. Making the top 20 is Ruby with 858. Pretty good placements in both of her seasons. Ice Cube with 866 points. Did compete in all four seasons. Pretty good in BFDI. Pretty mid in BFDIA. Pretty good to mid in the power of two. But overall, really good placements. Pillow with 908 points for playing in the power of two. Next up is our second to last tie, you understand, is the entirety of Death Pact yet again, plus TV, Grassy, and Bottle. All of these contestants have not been eliminated yet and are still competing in the power of two, tying them for 17th through 11th. If you were to ask me to rank them, It'd be as listed, TV, Grassy, Bottle, Black Hole, Marker, Tree, and then Fanny for 11th place. Making our top 10 is Tennis Ball with 974 points. Pretty good overall and is still in the power of 2 which could raise him even further. Coming in 9th place is Taco with 990 points for ranking 10th out of 64 people in BFB. 8th place goes to Fiery, our original winner, with 1,012 points. Placing first is really good, placing seventh is really good, but that 16th place in BFDIA kind of hurts him. If he did good in that season, he'd easily make top five. Our last tie is a three-way tie with our Teapot newbies who are still in the game, and out of 45 people, have made the top 17, which is the equivalent of making like top 7 in BFDI. So that scores them 1,056 points. And tying with them for 5th place is Gelatin, doing amazing in BFB, pretty mid overall in BFDIA. And you know, 2nd in BFB is not bad at all. Coming in in 4th place is Book with 1,078 points. Getting 2nd in BFDIA as predicted by last episode's win results. And still in the power of 2 makes her really, really strong. Even if she doesn't get 2nd in BFDIA, she's still going far in Teapot. Could boost her to 3rd, but I think 4th is a solid place. Making our top three. Next up 
is Bubble with 1,155 points, placing 3rd in BFPI and 9th in BFP. Really strong seasons. Next up, placing 2nd is none other than Leafy with 1,183 points, 2nd in BFDI and 4th in BFP, surviving 64 other people really well. And there's one spot left. If it isn't Lee's key, who could it possibly be? This contestant has made it top 5 every time, and the only reason this character is above Leafy is because Leafy did get second out in BFB. So, because she rejoined, she's not first. First place is none other than Lollipop with 1,320 points because the only season she competed in was BFB, placing fifth. Everybody that was above her was a veteran and has placed lower before. But Lollipop has never been lower than top 5, leaving her at number 1, being the best contestant in BFDI history. Now, I know what you're thinking. Lollipop? That's not fair, she only competed in one season. Well, if you're not satisfied, then here's a quick version of the list with only contestants that competed in the first two seasons. So there you have it, the best BFDI competitor is either Leafy or Lollipop. And if you think otherwise, well then you're wrong. Thank you for watching the video, this took me a lot of time to make. Make sure to subscribe and tell me how wrong my math was in the comments. If this does well then I'll make another part. Until then, bye!